division conveys a lack of honor toward God. Paul recounts here to the church, which now includes us, um, that communion was something given to us directly by Jesus. The eating of bread and drinking of the wine was to remember him and to declare his death for all people until he returns. And this time of communion was to represent a promise between us and God. But what we read in this um, is that because there were groups of people celebrating according to their status, and they were not celebrating what Christ had done, they essentially had forgotten Jesus. He was not a part of the celebration. and was no longer being put in first place in the seat of honor within the body of believers. There's this book called uh, Readings in Christian Ethics by David Clark and Robert Rakeshaw. I know it sounds fascinating, right? In the first volume of this book, it says this. Uh, we can too easily substitute raising our hands in praise for getting our hands dirty and helping the poor and bruised. The Corinthian church was doing this. They were putting on the show of gathering as the church for communion feasts, but they had forgotten um, helping the poor and the bruised, caring for them and bringing them in as equals within the community of believers. This type of praise and worship of God actually brings dishonor to him. And I think it's so easy for all of us to raise our hands and praise in one breath and with the next turn our back on welcoming those who don't fit within our bubble. Thank you.